you join us in a place called Paul or Paul I think is the Portuguese way that you say it and we didn't show the rides to Paul because we've done a video on that before but we were in Paul the other day with Ken and Gina from OK Portugal on YouTube and we went to the granite pool in Paul and it was quite nice there wasn't it hon? It was absolutely amazing yeah I think it's that right just ahead where that car's turning. But we're going to have to go back there and do a full video on that place. It was beautiful. The only thing is, it was a little bit busy there. And we were there at like 11 o'clock. We did get a nice shot of it. But if I'd panned the camera to the left, you would have seen the amount of people that were there. And today, we're heading to the area of Lariga to look at some more water sources and they are Poço de Broca Poço de Broca de Muro the Praia Fluvial de Lariga so the river beach of Lariga but first we are on our way to a restaurant called Guadarrios and that is quite local to the places that we're going to visit today it looks really nice online all of the places look nice. Johnny hasn't seen them yet, so I don't think he knows what we're going to see. Yeah, the only one I've seen is Mariga, and that's only looking online. It's one of the places I've wanted to go since we've came over here. Yeah, the photos online did look like they were quite busy with people. The route looks really twisty on the Google Maps, doesn't it? It did, yeah. The route to Paul's pretty good. And then it just looked like it was even better afterwards. It's a pretty cool f***ing road. While we enjoy this pretty cool f***ing road, let's tell you a bit about the places we are going to visit. Poço de Broca in English quite literally translates to drill pit. And we think this name refers to the fact these waterfalls or drill wells are man-made. The Cascata do Poço de Broca is a waterfall highlighted for its unparalleled beauty. It is located on the Alvoco riverside in the village of Barriosa in Vide. This small fall forms a pleasant river beach known for its tranquility. According to a source online, all Poso de Brocas have the same origin, which is the deviation of the natural course of the streams by man for agricultural land. In addition to the benefits in agriculture, these waters began to run through the terrain with unevenness, which intensified over time, giving rise to beautiful waterfalls and deep wells. Look at that view. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? Shortly after we experienced this fantastic view of the mountains, our GoPro crashed. So I did the usual turn it off and back on again to see if it had saved our trip so far. Unfortunately, it only saved the first 10 minutes, so it was lucky I noticed the issue. One, two, three. And we started recording again from this spot. Oh, my shoelace is undone. Uh, can you do my shoelace on? You're serious. A few moments later. We must be at some altitude to be in the clouds. Yeah, well there wasn't any clouds in the sky at all, just one cloud hugging Sierra de Estrella. Airpin. I've gone down first. That's not. Oh, that's not a first key corner. No, not first. You said it was a hairpin. Look at this man, riding through clouds. Sick. At least we're not going to be hot. Yeah, I know, but I was kind of hoping for a bit of heat with for jumping in some water. Got my bikini on underneath it. Yeah, well, if it's like this when we get to the, the spot, I won't be getting in the water if this is cold. I would look at my temperature gauge to show you what temperature it is, but... 17. Oh, OK, you've got it on yours. 17. Yeah, 17 ASM. Feels colder than that, doesn't it? 
Yeah, I think we're used to 35. It's been between 30 and 40 degrees now for well over a month. Epic scenes though. Yeah, it's gorgeous. We should bring the drone here and get some shots riding along this road with a drone. Well, if you didn't bring such a large towel, you probably could have fit the drone in the bag. <laughs> You'll be thanking me for that towel. Not if we're not even going in the water. Big flick on the handbrake. This road is so skiddable. You say that about every road we go on. This one's wide enough though, like really wide enough. Big flick into it. Oh yeah, we should bring the drift car out. Texeria. Lovely spot for a house. It does look a bit cloudy though. It's warmed up a bit. We've gone up to 18 degrees up here. Makes a nice change though, doesn't it? Being a bit cooler. Oh, I don't know. I'm getting a little bit too chilly, I think. What's the fuel prices here? 166. I thought it'd be a bit cheaper out here. It's very remote, isn't it? That's probably why it's a little bit more. Oh, that's there, true. There ain't nowhere else. Buy <laughs> it from me or no one. There's no other option. Yeah. Yeah, I won't be out in the water. It's 18 degrees, mate. You having a G raft? Everyone in the UK, if they had 18 degrees, they'd all be down the beach in their shorts. <laughs> That's a bit, still a bit cold, 18 degrees, even in the UK. Poso de Broca. I'm probably saying that wrong. There was a restaurant sign pointing this way, so... Yeah, we're here. Ah. Here it is, Guad Rios. I do. Yeah. Oh, we're here. We are. Look at this. First impressions of the restaurant were great, but something really strange happened when Johnny took his motorbike gear off. It was a lovely view out there, and on the hill were some donkeys. We checked out the menu and the nice looking plates that had the restaurant name on. And we both went for Prato de Dia, or plate of the day, which consisted of vegetable soup, which was super tasty, and roasted veal. How is it? Lovely. Veal. Mm. Really nice. During our meal, we noticed the artisanal products for sale on the table next to us. And we've just ordered some honey and this one here is madronio jelly so it's the strawberry fruits plant which you make aquadent with so we thought we'd give it a try because we haven't tried it yet well not in this jam form after a tasty starter and main we each had a dessert i went for cheesecake and johnny has a beer pudding You're not a fan? No. Okay, let me try it. I know what you're like. <coughs> it's a texture. I don't like textures. Yeah, you can have this. I bet I would like it. You like this sort of thing, though. Mm. Texture 
strange. The texture is very strange. It's just like eating an egg. Yeah, I, I did say I think it's a pudding. Pudding de Oatish, which is a egg pudding, but this is pudding de Salazar, Superbook pudding, so I think it's nice. I want to eat that now anyway. The cheesecake must be alright, it's almost gone. Yeah, this is a lot better than that. Can you try a bit? Following that nice meal, we headed to Poso de Broca de Barriosa. There's supposed to be an even better waterfall up here, isn't there? So clear, isn't it, the water? Such a beautiful sound as well. Well, Dad. Wonder how you get up there. From along there, I reckon. And there's the restaurant just there. And look at all of this beauty right next to it. I think we've seen photos online of people swimming in there. And the area up there where the people are, when it's not summer, it's full of water. Right, we've seen this waterfall. Where are we going to next? Um, Boco da Barocca de Muro. Going there. Let's do it 10 or 12 minutes away. Nice. Cross it road. Bikers! Bike friend! Bike friends! Bike friend! Bike friend! Bike friend. <laughs> yeah, more friends, we were just saying the same thing. <laughs> Have a good one! Hola! Alright, time to get back on the bikes. But just before we were about to set off, a nice lady that knew the area told us to visit the donkeys, Marta and Galileo. So we didn't refuse and headed back towards the trail, taking a look at the other bikes on the way. And here's an MT-07, just like my old one. I love the colour of the wheels, that's what I'd like on my bike. Have your picture with Marta. Anda, Marta. Cadê o beijinho? Ah, oh, here comes Galileo. 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 Anda cá. Anda. Olá. 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 Estás bom? Olá. I want a donkey. Nope. <laughs> Go over there. Picture. Galileo. Hola. Marta. Oh, oh Marta. Oh, so Marta. Cool. Venga. Oh. Hola. Oh. 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 He's oh, beautiful. <laughs> It's amazing, food. isn't it? Yeah, we have no food. We don't have any food. Oh, I love him. Oh, he's amazing. <laughs> I really did love him. And on second thought, I think these are mules. Do you ride a bike as no, well? No, my, my husband. Yeah. 
I, I love motors. But yeah. Only uh, back. Okay. Not, uh, but my my son, the little one, but he's big. Yeah. Likes your motto, and uh, I uh, send a photo. Yeah, my bike. You prefer? I want, I want. <laughs> you prefer my bike over Johnny's then? You, uh, it's beautiful. you prefer my bike, yeah? Not many people say that. <laughs> But I'm very happy. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we need to wash our hands. So we did just that, and we've met some really nice people on our trip so far. Obrigada. Até logo, tchau. <laughs> nice to meet you. Join us in our next video where we visit another Poso de Broca and the river beach in La Riga. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Also, why not click on one of the video windows to see more? Thanks for watching.